Welcome. In this video, I'm going to share with you some ideas and games you can do with a child if you're teaching them about drums and percussion. The first idea, I use these cards, and I got these on Amazon. These are actually for teaching children piano, but you could make your own cards by printing out images from the internet. This is Alfred's Music for Little Mozart's Flashcards Book One. And you can use these for teaching dynamics. This means forte, loud. This means piano, soft. So you could have the kid seated behind a drum set, or you could give them a practice pad and two sticks, or have a hand drum. And this is kind of like Simon says, because you put up a card and they do what it says. And they have so much fun with that. And it teaches them dynamics, the difference between soft and loud. Then, as they learn that, you can make it more interesting. You could add the quarter rest. So when they see this card, oh, they know to do nothing. Then there's a card with a quarter note, and you could either tell them to hit once when they see that, or just to play whenever you hold up that card. There's a card with four quarter notes, so you could tell them when they see that to hit four times. One, two, three, four, once for each quarter note. Kids have a ball with this. Little kids really have a blast. You can do it with a whole room of kids, and they are inevitably going to want to be the one showing the card. So that is fun for them, and it gives you a chance to model those dynamics for them. You could even print off, like from the internet, a crescendo where things get louder and a decrescendo so they could learn how you can start playing at one volume and end at another. Another idea, say you're teaching a child drums and you've got a half an hour to fill and it requires such intense concentration to learn a new drum beat and at some point their brain is just fried and you just got to move on and do something else. But you have like 20 minutes left of this drum lesson. So here's another idea you could do. Just taking some time each lesson just to teach them about the drum set, all the different instruments. This instrument is called a ride cymbal. This one is a mounted tom. Then you could even quiz them on it. That might not be much fun, but one thing that is fun is after they know it pretty well, you can have them sit in front of you with their back to the drum set, maybe their eyes closed, and you play and let them guess which instrument you're hitting. And that's actually very useful because it's important for a drummer to be able to hear music and pick out what the drums are doing. And if they're going to pick out that what they're hearing in that song is a ride cymbal, then they need to know what a ride cymbal sounds like in contrast to a crash cymbal. So even though it just seems like silly fun, there's a lot they can gain from that. Another idea is to just pull out a percussion instrument and tell the child all about it, teach them the name of the instrument. This is a kabasa. You would hold it in this hand, on, in your dominant hand, and rest it in your other hand, and, and turn the handle. That's one way to play it. And that expands their knowledge of drums and percussion, because even though that's a hand instrument, some drummers have a uh, kibasa mounted right on the drum set so they can grab it or you know there's different ways drummers can use it so it's a great thing for them to know about. Another idea that's kind of like Simon says again is having them mimic what you do on the drum set. You could start really simple and then they do that. Then you can make it more complicated and then maybe they could come up with some rhythms for you to mimic. And again, that's good for them because as a drummer, we need to be able to hear music and pick out what the drummer's doing so we can do that same thing. Maybe we're playing that song. Or sometimes a guitar player is like, how about when you get to that point, you go boom, 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 psh, you know, and you're like, okay, boom, 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 psh, but you know what they mean and you can totally do it. So it really helps to do some mimic, mimicking games like that. 
Another thing that I love to do is to just pull down an instrument. Once a kid can play, like, say, a minute worth of a drum beat, and, well, what I notice with a lot of kids is once they, they probably could play for a minute or two straight, but that's just boring to them, and they will play for, like, 10, 20 seconds, and they're like, okay, I'm done. So if you're pulling down an instrument, I pull my guitar out, and I plug it in, and I get them to start playing, and I play along with them, and they love it. And that way, they're not just playing for 10, 20 seconds at a time. If you play keys or hand drum, there's banjo, it doesn't matter. Just pull another instrument in, and that is so much fun for the child. Parents love it. Parents will pull out the camera phones and you name it trying to, to capture this I'll be with you in a minute honey speaking of kids that was my four year old at the door sometimes I'll pull the bass in and if they're playing a drum beat that's like boom tsh, boom boom tsh, then I'll play the bass and show them how bass can lock in with the bass drum and go boom tsh, boom boom tsh along with their bass drum foot. There's just so many ways you can pull another instrument into the experience, which is a rich experience for the parents and the kids. All right, another idea that you could do with a, a young child or someone really new to the idea of drumming is putting on some music, some 4-4 music, which 95% of what's on the radio would be 4-4, and clapping along with it. Now when we clap to music, we're clapping on two and four, and that's where the drummer accents. That's when drummers hit the snare. I'm talking to parents now. So just putting on some music and clapping along with the child, something you can do at home to kind of get them prepared if you're thinking about doing drum lessons. Or a drum teacher could do that with a child maybe the first time they ever came in. Another idea, something I really haven't done with a child yet, but maybe some sort of game or something related to how language has rhythm in it. Language is full of rhythm. and um, I don't know, maybe you know some of you educators tell me if you think this would be a, a worthy thing to do is to like have the kid say a sentence. I love my cat. I love my cat. I love my cat. You know, and just make a rhythm out of it. Just teaching how, you know, rhythm is everywhere, even in our language. So those are just some thoughts. I hope you can find something in all that that's helpful to you. Thank you for watching.